In this video lesson, we will learn about intersecting secants. So secants are lines that intersect the circle twice, like the two ones that I just drew. And the secants that we're going to be worrying about are the ones that intersect outside of the circle. So we're going to talk about this theorem. In some ways, it's similar to the intersecting chords theorem. So the theorem is that if we have two secants like this that intersect on the outside of the circle, then the following holds a times a plus b is equal to x times x plus y. So the short outer portion times the whole portion of the secant is equal to the same thing for the other secant. small times whole. So now let's apply this to a few example problems and calculate some lengths. So here we're looking for x. So we apply the theorem. We have 5 times 5 plus 7, the whole length, is equal to x times the whole length, which is x plus 4. So this simplifies. 5 plus 7 is 12. And 5 times 12 is 60. And then this equals 2, and the x pairs with the x to make an x squared, and x goes with 4 to make 4x. So now we have this quadratic equation that we'd like to solve. And for more details on how to do that, I have a whole section on quadratic equations, on how to solve them, on factoring, all sorts of things. But in any case, in this problem, I'm going to solve the equation by factoring it. And I'm leaving out some of the details. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, then go to the video lesson about factoring. Quadratic equations solving by factoring. But in any case, when we factor it, this tells us that x either equals 6 or equals to negative 10. And we can actually eliminate one of these options, because if we plug in negative 10, then we have a length of negative 10. And that doesn't make any sense. So we're left only with x equals 6. And x equals 6 is our answer. And now we're going to do a quick check to make sure that x equals 6 actually does work. So we have 5 times 5 plus 7, the whole length, equals short outer length, 6 times the whole length, 6 plus 4. And this is the same as 5 times 12 is equal to 6 times 10. We multiply this out, and we get 60 equals 60, and that's correct. So x must equal to 6. All right, we're ready for the next example. So here we want to find x again. So we apply the theorem because we have these two secants intersecting on this point outside. And we have 6 times 6 plus 10. Equals. And then short outer portion 8 times the entire secant 8 plus x. We multiply it out, we add we simplify it, we have six times sixteen equals sixty-four plus eight x, and then six plus six times sixteen is ninety-six, and this equals the sixty-four plus eight x. And we're going to subtract by sixty-four on both sides. I'm gonna get thirty-two equals eight x. Now all I gotta do is divide by eight. And once again, we just subtracted by 64 on both sides. And we divide by 8, and we get x equals 2, 4. So x is 4, and that is our answer. And now we're going to quickly check, make sure that x equals 4 really does work. 
So we just have this original equation, 6 times 6 plus 10, 8 times, and we're hoping that x is 4, so 8 times 8 plus 4. And this simplifies to 6 times 16 equals 8 times 12. And then you could use a calculator or just calculate it on paper or on your head. But in any case, you'll get 96 equals 96, which is true. So x equals 4 is correct. All right, now for the last example. So I have four times four plus five is, it's going to be nine. And then x minus two times x minus two plus x plus four. So we just applied the theorem another time. And now we have to write this all out. And this is 4 times 9 equals x minus 2 times, and that's 2x plus 2. And 4 times 9 is 36. And that equals 2. And now we got to FOIL this out. So I'm going to write FOIL here. So first we do the firsts, that's 2x squared. The outers, that's plus 2x. The inners, that's minus 4x. And the last, that's negative 2 times 2, is negative 4, without the x there. And then this equals 2, I'm just going to collect like terms, 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. So now we have this quadratic equation that we want to solve. And as I said before, uh, there are video lessons on how to solve quadratic equations. For more details on how to do it, look at them, but we're going to stick to the more geometric details. So I'm going to factor it for us and we'll work from there. So our equation is 0 equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 40. I already write this above because we ran out of room there. And we can actually divide both sides of this equation by 2 to simplify it. So the new equation we're going to be working with is x squared minus x minus 20 equals to 0. And this is what I'm going to factor. And I'm not going to show all my work in factoring, just going to do it. And if you need help with that, look at some other video lessons. So x minus 5 times x plus 4 is what we get when we factor, and that equals to 0. What this means is that either x equals 5 or x equals negative 4. So we have these two options, x equals 5 or x equals negative 4. And corresponding to those parts of the product. And x equals negative 4 actually checks out. It doesn't work. Because if we plug it back in, then we have a side length of negative 6 and a side length of 0. You can't have negative or 0 length segments. So we ignore x equals negative 4, and our only option is x equals 5. And now let's check if it really works. So we have x equals 5 is what we hope to be the answer, and if we plug it in, what do we get? 4 times 4 plus 5 is equal to, and x minus 2 is 5 minus 2 times, and then we have 5 minus 2 plus 5 plus 4 because we replaced all instances of x with 5. So that's 4 times 9 equals 3 times, and that whole thing simplifies to 12, and then we get 36 equals 36. And that is correct, so our answer is good, x equals 5. Well, thank you for watching this video lesson. I hope it helped.